take you inside BMW Manufacturing in Spartanburg, USA to show you a special collaborative robot hard at work. Remote control cars that are fast, small and not just meant for kids. And India's largest two-wheeler company, Hero, unveils a new green manufacturing plant in Nimrana. Hi folks and welcome to the show. I'm Siddharth Vinayak Patankar. We're coming to you this week from Spartanburg in South Carolina in the United States. And this is the headquarters for BMW here. Some of you might remember that on CNB last year, we brought you here to show you the production of the X5, the new generation when it first rolled out. But today what we're gonna do on Bazaar Buzz is a little bit different. We're not just gonna show you the production or the assembling of one particular car. We're gonna go a little bit deeper into the manufacturing process and in fact, bring you something that's very unique to just this plant. What am I talking about? We're heading inside Hall 52 to show you. It was way back in 1992 that BMW chose the sleepy yet picturesque Greenville Spartanburg area in South Carolina for its US manufacturing operations. It invested over $2 billion and opened the plant in 1994. 20 years later, the company is growing. In 2013, it made just over 297,000 vehicles. The BMW manufacturing operations are spread over 1150 acres. This is where the company builds all its SUV products Barring the X1, the X model range made here currently comprises the X6, X5, X4 and X3. The large 7-seater X7 will join them in 2016. The annual production capacity here is 300,000 units. BMW has announced it will invest an additional billion dollars in Spartanburg at the current site to expand capacity by 50% to 450,000 units annual production by 2016. The plant currently produces the X3 and X4 in Hall 52 and the X5 and X6 in Hall 50. But today we are stepping into Hall 52 to show you something new and very interesting. This is a special collaborative robot, hard at work in the plant. It's the first of its kind use, and while it looks simple, achieves quite a lot. It's called collaborative as it helps the shop floor associates with their jobs and works with them. What it does is fixes in the door panel you see, that helps safeguard the electrical and wiring systems within the door from any damage or exposure to water. The robot pushes the panel into place once an associate fixes it lightly and ensures the adhesive is uniformly applied and fixed. So it started about two years ago. Uh, we were looking for applications for universal robots. Um, we wanted to bring them into assembly so that they could work alongside with the associates. Um, we looked through the plant to figure out which processes may have the biggest ergonomic and quality impacts. Um, after looking through that list, we determined that the door foil process that you see here um, has the biggest ergonomics uh, and quality uh, impact if we were to make it more consistent with some kind of automation process. Um, we started with the development. We brought in one robot. Um, we started testing it on one line and refining the processes and developing the algorithms and uh, updating the tools and, until we found the right process uh, that worked consistently and repeatably and reliably, because here in, in assembly, everything must be um, very repeatable, very dependable, and run nonstop seven days a week. So, um, and then after everything was refined, we, were, uh, we copied the system three more times as we have four door lines, uh, and then, uh, then we have the system you see here. 
The management decided to use a universal robot to replace the larger, bulkier robots you typically see in vehicle manufacturing. Also, those robots typically work without any human intervention as there could be safety issues. The universal robot is smaller, has safeguards, so it stops working if it senses human contact and is also less noisy. What this particular operation does is help prevent wrist damage that some associates may sustain over a longer period of time when pressing in the door panel. And now the engineers are looking at what other functions they can replace next with the universal robots. They will also replicate these in the hall that makes the X5 and X6 besides taking it to other BMW manufacturing facilities around the world. We're constantly looking for new ideas. We take feedback from production, from the production associates, uh, from plant management, um, and uh, essentially rank uh, different uh, possibilities and, and uh, what applications we should focus on next. Um, we do have a, a our, our next project, which is uh, a step up kind of in complexity from this, which will be uh, plug installation. Uh, currently, the associates are installing plugs uh, rubber grommets with their thumbs and with as assisting tools, uh, but that becomes um, still an ergonomic risk and it's also a quality uh, as it, it prevents any kind of uh, dirt and debris and water getting into these, these openings. Um, so they're critical processes and they also improve ergonomics, so that will be the next process that we'll automate uh, with, with these kind of uh, robots. The interesting thing is that the robots don't replace humans altogether in a given operation, like the door assembly that you've just seen, they simply assist and collaborate. In an era of automation, that's indeed something new, isn't it? So it's really cool to see how something that looks so simple can make such a huge difference in the efficiency of the whole manufacturing process. So, of course, we're going to look forward to see how it gets implemented in other manufacturing processes around not just this plant, but other plants around the world as well. So nice little sneak peek there, just for you, here on CMB Bazaar Bus. From one plant to another, except this one is brand new and makes bikes. Automakers are not only building eco-friendly products, but also looking to set up green factories that roll out their new vehicles. India's largest two-wheeler company, Hero, has unveiled a new green manufacturing plant in Neemrana, Rajasthan. Called Garden Factory, there are green walls to generate clean and healthy oxygen for the workers. Other interesting energy-efficient designs include the Bigfoot air handlers to ensure optimized plant cooling and solar photovoltaic panels that provide for 1.5 megawatts of electricity. Hero says the garden factory is a start to Hero's environmental aspirations. We are calling it the garden factory because it is very green, not just in colors, but a lot of stuff we are doing here is all sustainable and green. The rooftop has got cultivation, there is rainwater harvesting through which we are saving a lot of energy in the air conditioning or lighting of the plants. Yeah. We have put green walls in the plant, we brought the windows down to eye level for the workers which makes them feel very nice. Uh, the air conditioning plant here, the Bigfoot, has got positive pressurization. You didn't see any ducts in the in the plant, and yet you could you could feel a very nice 26 degree atmosphere in the factory. We are using we are actually generating water from this air conditioning plant, giving back to the earth almost two times the water that we consume. We are giving back to the earth. To, to, uh, we are not using any boilers here, we are using waste heat to, to heat water and do all of that stuff. So overall, this is, this is a model factory. 
Besides the main production unit, the new facility also boasts of the Global Path Center or GPC with a high level of automation. This includes automated storage and retrieval system, packaging and storage system. This level of automation is crucial for Hero to achieve a 3000 crore rupee turnover in the next 2 to 3 years from the parts business. This is part of Hero's mega 500 crore rupee investment plan for the next 2 to 3 years. Over 1000 crore rupees will be invested in this Nimrana plant and the rest of the investment will be spread across Hero's overseas plants in Colombia and Bangladesh and the new plant coming up in Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh. The new Nimrana plant will have an annual capacity of 750,000 units and will initially manufacture motorcycles and scooters. The company says in future, this plant will specialize only in high-powered and premium motorcycles. Now, as I mentioned at the top, this is the uh, manufacturing hall for the X3 and the X4 models. And uh, while we've shown you a little bit of all of this, I'm sure you're dying to see more of the shiny, gleamy cars. So we're going to go across to uh, where the final assembly is happening. Join us on the other side of a very short break right here on CNB Bazaar Buzz. Coming up on CNB Bazaar Buzz, we bring you car security options to keep your car from being stolen. And souped up remote control cars that do a lot more than you think. <laughs>